Pinterest is doing what all the other social media brands did wrong. Yes, indeed. So they're doing it right. All the other brands are doing it wrong. Um, Pinterest shared something naughty this week. Yes, America, it is true. The chance that, you know, you won't be repinning it either. In a message posted on their blog, on the virtual on their virtual bulletin board, disclosed the first time a transparency report, which details the 12 government requests for 13 different users' data that they received over the past six months. Unlike other sites, which ask for hundreds of thousands of data users, Pinterest's policy is to inform every user that the government has asked for their information. So basically, you put something up on Pinterest, say the NSA is trying to find you and scoop you out. Pinterest notifies and said, hey, listen, we got a data request for your information from the NSA, and here it is. Whereas in all the other companies, i.e. Facebook or Twitter, and we love them all equally, but what they do is they just turn it over to the government, and they don't tell you anything. You're never informed that you're being spied on or watched. Not to mention your phone company, which does the same things. Wireless warrant, unwarranted unwarranted wireless war, well, unwarranted wiretaps, and on and on and on. But the owners of Pinterest said the following: We think it is important that you know about these requests. Um, wrote one of the guys who worked, one of the legal guys. Um, he sprinkled the pot and included a sparkling pie graph that Pinterest reports offers basic details about how the requests were made, warrant and or subpoena, how many of them were from local governments, all but one, and the amount of times Pinterest denied the request once. Out of the 12 requests that was made since in the past six months, 11 originated from the state or local government, take a local meeting, meeting from four places, California, two from Florida, two from Utah, one from New York, one from Oregon, and one from Washington State. Now, this is how I feel this thing should be done. Don't get me wrong. We have this crazy spying culture in our government and in the, this, whole, this whole surveillance culture after 9-11 that sort of George Bush created, and we need to fix that. But in the meantime, this is how it should be done by corporations like Pinterest or Facebook or Verizon or AT&T is that they should tell you, even if they can't stop the subpoena, they should tell you, hey, listen, they're monitoring your stuff. The government's monitoring your stuff. That's what I should tell you. The government's monitoring your stuff, even if you can't stop the subpoena. I think it's what you should do. It's fair for people to know that the government's watching them. It's just that simple.